What's up, YouTube? I got a question, and the question um, was from a, a young black lady, um, and I really do appreciate the question. Um, you know, it's a good question that it's it's a good question in the sense that it, it helps us get to some real issues, um, and that's really what I want to do, as opposed to dealing with some lollipop bullshit. But you know, because I'm black, but you know, a black man it's hard for a lot of black women to to see past it and really understand that you know we're trying to speak on some real shit so i appreciate her question because it's kind of what i want to do what i want to address more and her question was <clears throat> um let me see where is it at hold on oh here it is is it fair or even realistic to expect us to have your back without that real commitment okay um and her question was based off of the video I did, um, what I told a young black girl about love or something like that. Um, and I was talking about how, as men, we value the women that were there when we were going through a tough time. But her question was, um, you know, if I'm not with you, is it fair for you to expect me to be there? Right. Um, <clears throat> it's yes and no. Okay. It's definitely a yes and no. Um, if you're trying to pursue somebody, okay, so, you know, you're interested in that person and you're thinking about moving on, I think it is your responsibility to try to show them that you can be there for them, um, but at the same time not go overboard. So you still have to protect yourself financially, spiritually, emotionally, you know, whatever you want to call it, of course, because you, you're responsible for yourself first. So it's both. Um, and the best way I can show you guys this is just through an example. Okay, my freshman year in college, winter quarter was horrible. Um, I had this work study job. And it, was, it was like in an office. So from eight to four, I would go to work, right? Maybe for two hours, go to class, go back to work, um, go to class again, and that was pretty much what I did. I switched back from work and class from eight to four, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It was whack. Um, I hated it, but I couldn't really make any changes because, you know, as a freshman, you know, you're just lucky to get some sort of class, right? So I was stuck in that work schedule and school pattern. So this girl that, um, you know, we were talking, she did, what she did was she brought me lunch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, okay? Um, you know, we had something called like a, a meal card and, you know, you had money on it, right? Um, and she had a whole bunch of money on her card. So she would buy me lunch. Um, but it wasn't the fact that she bought me lunch. It was the fact that, you know, she brought it to me, right? And we didn't even have time to eat it together. So she would drop off my lunch and she would go to class. Now we weren't together. And I understood what she was trying to do because she wasn't doing too much okay you know I would not allow her to you know be wasting her own money like that you know it, it wasn't money money it was already prepaid for um, and she just had a whole bunch right she chose the wrong package and she paid more money and they gave her a whole bunch of money right um, and you know she brought me lunch okay so it wasn't even the whole idea that she's spending money on me because I wouldn't have that right I wouldn't you know want her to be spending her own money on me three days a week but she had it um, and she really wasn't using it but the whole idea of her having my back came in with the her bringing it to me that's the part that I respected the most because she didn't have to she didn't have to bring it to me but she brought it to me and we couldn't even eat it together so you know I'd be going to work or class and she'd bring me the lunch and she'd be going on her way and that was cool now I remember one rainy day um, I didn't expect her to do it you know it was raining and horribly um, and if I didn't have to go to work I wouldn't have went to class either you know I would have stayed in my room and you know listen to watch the movies and listen to music all day um, but she still brought it to me and I thought that was cool and I thought that was a good example of somebody who was not in a committed relationship with the dude who showed that she can have a guy's back but then she didn't go overboard she wasn't hyper extending herself because she's also responsible for her own well-being um, and vice versa I was in a position um, my um, what, what year was it it was my freshman year as well but this it was spring quarter 
and um, classes get out. The latest class, I believe, is 8 to 9 or 9 to 10, one of those. And I had a female friend who got out um, at the latest time. So she either got out at 9 or 10, um, but she was all the way on campus, and she was a, it was a good 15-minute walk, 15, 20-minute walk back to the dorms. And there had been a couple of rapes prior you know in previous years so it's definitely a threat um and of course you know i was trying to you know put my bid in and i could have easily said hey you know hit me up when you get back to your dorm room you know text me i am me but i wasn't doing anything so she was in class i was just chilling watching tv hanging out um so i said you know what why not walk down there and walk her back to her dorm room right so Tuesdays and Thursdays that's what I did right you know I'd walk down there and we'd walk back to the dorm room or sometimes I would go to the library right you know you know stay there a little bit longer and then she would get out and then we'd walk back together um and for me it was my sign of saying you know obviously we don't have any sort of commitment but I can have your back and here's what I'm doing and it was for me good because I was showing that I can go out of my way, but at the same time, I wasn't putting myself in a position where I was, you know, messing with my own happiness, right? So I was walking that line. And I think as women, that's what you guys have to understand. You guys can't expect to have a man make a full commitment. Then you come in and say, okay, now I'm going to have your back. You have to show that you have that ability before. You don't have to go overboard, but we have to see it, right? Um, we have to be able to see that you have that ability. Because a lot of people don't have the ability. A lot of people say they want to be there for you, but they don't know how to. And I'm not going to tell somebody how to be there for me. You know, I'm not, and I don't expect somebody to tell me how to be there for them. I just have to do what I know is good, all right? And hopefully they take it the right way. That's all you can do, but it has to start with you. Um, and even if you do do that, if that person doesn't see that, then that's their fault, right? You know, her bringing. She didn't say, I'm bringing you lunch because I'm trying to win points with you. I had to see it for myself, right? You know, I had to see that. Um, you know, me walking the girl home wasn't, you know, me saying, oh, I'm trying to win points with you, so I'm going to walk you home. No, right? If she saw that and she understood what I was trying to do, then that's on her. See, it's two parts. You know, you, you also have to be able to recognize when somebody is trying to show that they're there for you right and if you miss it you miss it you know and nothing's guaranteed you know you showing that you can be there for somebody right doesn't mean that that person has to choose you they you know they might not be feeling you or they just weren't able to pick up on what you were doing but if they weren't able to pick up on it then you probably don't want to be with that person to begin with right because I don't want to say they're ungrateful but they don't necessarily have that eye for how other people hold them down and that's important so I mean there's no guarantee, but you just have to make sure you do everything on your front to show that you have the ability to be there for somebody, but then to also protect yourself. Um, so, you know, hopefully that answers your question. Um, you take it easy. Take care. You know, everybody else, you guys know the drill. Um, God bless.